Hello everyone, my name is Robbo and welcome back to Pokemon Expert Emerald. Lessons have been learned and we are restarting, obviously after being defeated by our rival May in the last one. So we're going to change things up a little. Uh, I'm going to go with Mudkip. I know I need to train him a lot more because there's a lot more luck involved in winning the rival battle if you go as... Uh, As Mudkip because Trico has Absorb, Mudkip only has uh, Mud Slap. Right, my name. What should we go with in uh, in this one? Actually, you know what? We will go. We'll be Smudgy. There we go. I'm Smudgy. <laughs> I thought I'd use uh, the female avatar this time and go with my girlfriend's name as the, uh, or my girlfriend's sort of, um, PlayStation name as, uh, as my trainer name this time. Maybe, uh, Brendan will give us an easier time than May did. Alright, let me off! Let me off! I wish I could skip past this bit. It takes so damn long. I'm not sure what level I need to be with Mudkip as well. I think I only leveled up like twice, maybe, with Trico. Right, we'll come here, get the potion out. I am going to go back and catch a load more Pokemon this time. Like, uh, as soon as I get the rod, I'm just going to go back and catch a bunch of Pokemon. Uh, it is 10.55 right now. In the morning. Alright, we need to go next door now, introduce ourselves to Brandon, and then we can go catch our first Pokemon. I don't care. <laughs> we bought you this report from the front of Petalburg Gym. I just need a bit of better luck this time in terms of catches. I got so many bad catches. I don't think I got one good wild encounter during all of that. Like, when you look at the list, I've seen the catch lists, and it's just like, I could have had a Rolls. I got Sentra. I could have had anything out of the uh, Petalburg Woods, but I got bloody Spinarak. You know, the list went on and on of the crap Pokemon that I just got. Alright. Let's go. I think they all run as the... Do they go as the male in uh, the speedruns for this game? It changes depending upon which game they're playing. Some of them, like, the rival has more dialogue if it's the male or the female. I know that uh, in Soul Silver Heart Gold, they always go as uh, the female because Lyra has way more lines. And we're going with uh, Mud Kip. Right. Let's go. I think I'm going to have to go up to like level 8 or even 9 or something just to make it so that Mud Kip doesn't die. The bloody uh, Trico. Why are you holding an Orenberry? Why do you hate me? Oh, no. <laughs> so it begins. So it bloody begins. What I'm going to do is I will grind like, off screen real quick to just get Mudkip up because there's no fun for you guys to just watch me go back and forth beating up wild zigzagoons and stuff, so. <sighs> Stop growling! Or at least crit him. <coughs> Thank God for that. That Zigzagoon took far too long to take down. That took a lot of time, and it really wasn't worth the payoff when you look at how little XP we got for it. Damn right you're giving me the Pokemon. Uh, what are we going to name Mudkip this time? I use people who's like subscribed and followed me and everything. 
and commented. But I don't know who to go for. What name to go for this time? Or should I just go with a, a water name? With the... Um... Ah... Uh, I don't honestly know. Actually, no, because it's not female. I like Aqua being female. What if we go with Poseidon? Probably spell it wrong. Is it I E or E? No, it's E I, isn't it? If not, it I spelled it wrong. Why have I got two eyes in there? That's not supposed to be there, I don't think. I don't know if that's right or not. If it's wrong, it it I've got a very special mudkip. <laughs> I think it'd be a terrible idea to go and see Brendan because he's going to slap me with that bloody uh, Trico of his. Northwards we go. Right, I'm actually going to pause it here and um, grind up Mudkip, so uh, I'll be right back. Alright guys, we are back. We have ourselves a level 9 Poseidon, who is lax. I'm not sure what that does, but we're going to go in at level 9. Um, I'm not sure how well this will work. The thing, the problem is, the other two starters get a stab up attack, which is why they don't need to be as highly leveled, I think. Whereas Mudkip is sat there with Mudslap and Trico heals with uh, Absorb, so that's why Mudkip is, like, so difficult to use, I think, in this. At least if you go with Torchic, you can burn, and obviously if you're as Trico, you're not dealing with as much damage coming your way. Oh, there's Dodo up there. That could be a cool catch, because Dodo is very underrated. Dodrio hits like a truck, so... I'd like to use some more interesting Pokemon that are a bit different, so... Right, let's try this. Remember, if I die, the Nuzlocke hasn't technically started yet, so we're good. We're just going to have to go for six mud slaps. Because I've got to make him miss. That's like the only way we win this, if he misses a bunch of attacks. Oh, that's a good start, going for Leer. Another Leer. Okay. I can go with this. I can deal. I can handle this. Yes, that's what we like to see. I think a couple of tackles will do it now. Yes! Okay. I know people are going to say, you never 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 nine. Well, I had to. It's very rare that you get a battle like that. Usually you've just absorbed me twice at the start and killed me. So, I'm sorry if you're disappointed I leveled up that high, but I kind of had to. If you don't, it just absolutely obliterates you, so... That's unfortunately the way it has to be. Alright, head all the way back down south. Let's get uh, back to the old lab. Hop down again. I do, I don't know, I do like this gen, it's just, it's very low down in terms of the early, gen, early gens, as well how much I like it, because the problem it has is that it's just, it feels a bit of a downgrade from gen 2. You know, there's not that many interesting Pokemon, there's too much bloody water on the map, it just doesn't feel as good, and then you've got Gen 4 afterwards, so you know, that was a, a big jump up in the series. Then Gen 5, like, I'm a big Gen 5 fan. So that was a big increase as well. Yes, I did. Give me the running shoes. What I think I'm going to do, in terms of the starters, I think I will leave them, and I'll leave it up to you guys, whether they count as, like, an encounter or not. Because they are static, but it just means I can build up such a 
big team early on. And what's our first capture going to be? Pucciana! I don't really like you whatsoever, but... Beggars can't be choosers, so we're just going to mudslap you. I bet I got some Pokeballs, actually, now that I think about it. I did, okay. I got a five. Five Pokeballs. All right, Pucciana is ours. And it's another female one. Wonderful. <laughs> I don't have a female name for a Pokemon yet. Ah, whatever. We'll call we'll call you Nasha. I don't know why. I'm not going to use it, so it kind of doesn't matter. I'm, there's no point giving it like a really good name. Just walk through here. Right, I would really like to get the Dodo up here. So can we um, can we make that happen? Hollywag. That would have been a better catch when I was first here. To be fair. On my first run, Poliwag would have been a great catch. It does mean I've got a solid water type in the box, ready to go though, so I will definitely take it. Oh, you're in that really bad spot where it could have been a damage range, so we're just going to have to throw Pokeballs at you. Yay, there we go. The Tadpole Pokemon. Um, let's see if this fits. If you've played Dark Souls 3, you'll get it. Oh, it doesn't fit. There's a there's something called the Demon of Song, and it's um it's a frog. So unfortunately I can't fit that in now. Um Oh, what do we call you now, then, instead? Um, I'm, I'm awful with names. I really am. I really am terrible at names. You know what? We'll... I'll use some of the more common uh, names from people who have commented and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll call you Mattia. You're the backup, Mattia. This time, you're not going to be the <coughs> the main gun like uh, Abra was when I caught him. All right, we've got we've got one good catch so far. That's better than any other catch that I got in the previous run, so I'll take it. Like I say, I'll leave the static encounters. That's then up to you guys if they count or not. Feels kind of like cheating, so I'm kind of like getting two per area if I use them. Come on, Ralts. Lotad. Oh, why is it another water Pokemon? You knew. You just knew, didn't you? Alright, he went with Mudkip. Let's just give him all the fucking water Pokemon. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Whatever, then. I don't want it anyway. I wouldn't have used it, so... Poseidon at least has Water Gun now. I think what I'll do is dodge the next couple trainers, though, because I don't want Poseidon getting too overleveled. Because he's just going to curb stomp the, uh, the gym. I really wanted to roll. Scardafoy is just really good. I wouldn't have minded getting a Surskit on all honesty. I feel like Masquerain is kind of like slept on a little. Like it's it's got some good things going for it. Would you please just die? Oh no, it has an orange berry! Thank you. God damn it. Bloody Sunkern. Look at my HP. A Sunkern did that. And now he has a Paris. Mud slap this bitch. 
I don't think it has absorb, so... Actually, it does have spore body, though, doesn't it? So maybe we'll be better off doing this. Yeah, that'll work. Good job, Poseidon. I gotta be honest there, I was worried it was gonna crit me and kill me. Of course I get a crit then, why wouldn't I? God damn it. I'm gonna stick to keeping this, like, longer as well, this series. I like, kind of like the long style uh, videos for it. Just, uh, it just feels like I can get something done. If you make it like, I know that 10 to 15 is usually what people prefer, I think, but it just doesn't feel like you get much done in that, so. And I really don't want this series being like 100 episodes long because I'm having to do all of these bits in like 15 minute segments. You see, that would have been a slightly better catch because Shiftry is actually good. Oh. Okay, why why did Scott do that? And why did he just teleport in the trees? I bet I asked that exact same question last time, didn't I, now that I think about it? I probably said the exact same thing before, because Scott usually encounters us in Petalburg after we've helped um, Wally realize that Pokemon aren't too scary. To be fair, I feel like Wally should be sent back to uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus time. He'd fit in right there, being terrified of Pokemon. <coughs> we wasn't terrified, to be fair. He just uh, needed some help from us catching him. He's the equivalent of uh, Ray, I think, from or Akari as well. If you uh, play as the male pro tag. I'm amazed that C-Dot has Tackle. It usually only has Bide. I suppose this is a byproduct of it being a, a ROM hack. Alright, Poseidon's uh, picking up them levels. Lotad. Oh, okay. Um, sure. No, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> I won't complain at a, an easy one-shot crit. We're going to dodge her as well, because we really don't need the XP right now. There's so many catches we can make once we get the fishing rod in Doofood, so I will do that this time, just so that I've got a bit more variety, I think. Because it's not just going to be like Magikarps and Goldings that I can catch off of it. I don't know what I'd use, though, to be honest. You know that the Ralts that Wally encounters can be shiny? Yeah, I've seen that before. That must be heartbreaking, you know? Some people, like, spend hours and hours and hours shiny hunting back then. And then for Wally to just randomly have one. And the thing is, the game doesn't save that it was a shiny. So later on, when... You encounter Wally again, it's a normal Ralts. Which makes it even worse. I think you I think Wally can kill the Ralts as well if he gets two crits, which is hilarious. Oh he missed. Ralts has tackle! Ralts is actually usable. I don't think I can catch it anywhere else though, can I? I think it's just here. Well then, Wally, you caught a Pokemon. I think I will get the next two encounters and then maybe call that the episode. We're sitting at just under 
Well, we've just hit 20 minutes. Actually, it'll just be a little less than that, because uh, I'll cut. That includes the uh, the countdown. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we get it, Norman. We get it, Norman. I'm going to come back and kick your ass once uh, I get a better team together. Hi, Scott. Time for you to shit talk me. Yep, you're you're just an asshole, aren't you? Let's be honest. I need to go back and buy Pokeballs, by the way. I just realised I only have, like, two. So, it's probably a good idea to pick up. Uh, if we get ten... Because then we get a Premier Ball. Oh, I can't buy ten more. Okay, that sucks. I will need a Repel later, because... I need to get to Wisma Cave, catch a Wisma, and then go back onto the previous route and go for another catch. Alright, Chikorita is here, guys. Like I say, it's up to you whether these static encounters count as in as that, or whether it counts as my route catch. <clears throat> it feels a little like cheating, but I'll leave it up to you. Right, what's our route encounter? We've got... Ooh! Oh, I like that. Nidoran. That's good. That is a really good encounter. Um, can I use something to weaken it a bit? Have you got Hypnosis? You don't. You just have Bubble. I think Poseidon's just going to kill it if he attacks, so... I really want this Nidoran. Please, please give me the Nidoran. Get in the ball, you tart. Come on, I don't want to risk killing it. Uh, all you're doing is growling. The thing is, there's a part of me that's going, you've, you've been growled a few times, you can you can go for an attack. But I just know I tackle it and crit it. Yes. Whew, okay. We have our Nidoran, the Poison Pin Pokemon. Um, we will call you... Um, what should I call you? Hang on, I need to I need to make sure I spell this right. So I know what I want to call her, but... I don't know if I've botched up Poseidon's name, so I don't want to botch this as well. Uh... Alright. Yeah, I would have spelt this wrong for sure. Winner there. I'm going with all the Dark Souls references at the minute. If you know Guinevere, you know why. So, we've got two Pokemon now. Quirky. I don't care, I have a Nidoran. This is... I've gotten two really good catches now. When you think of the crap catches I had in my first run, I've gotten a Nidoran and a Poliwag. I wonder what we can catch in the uh, forest here. Also, I wonder if we can dodge these trainers. I know I can dodge the other one. Can I dodge you? Yes. Ah, Abra. Oh, this is where I caught Abra last time, isn't it? Right, yeah. Okay, my bad. I did actually get a good catch in the last one. I got Abra. I, f I, I forgot about that. That is on me. Right, what would be the ideal? I don't know what the catch list is, but can we have a Scyther? Like, I, I don't know I don't know if that's asking for a little too much, you know, before the first gym, but, you know. Come on, be a good catch. Be a good catch. What we got? What we got? You fucker. Fucking Spinarak. I don't want a Spinarak. 
Interesting. String shots actually. One word. In this. But it's got two capitals there. Also, I didn't realise then I I could have killed that without even thinking about it. You bitch. All right, come on, get in the ball. I don't want you, but I don't have much option. This is where I run into the next thing, and it's something absolutely friggin' awesome. We will call you a Shilab. Whoops, that's not how you spell Shilab. <laughs> Usually, in other games, I've saved that for, like, uh, Galvantula, but in this one, I'll use it for that, because obviously there isn't Galvantula. could call it Ariodas Grande, which would be kind of cringe, but kind of funny, I suppose, but... Right, like I say, I'm leaving Chikorita there. Leave your opinion in the comments below. Whether I should catch him or just leave him, or just... Well, I suppose I'll just kill him. If people say I can't catch him, I'll just uh, knock him out. Right, we've got five more steps. One, two, three... Four. There we go. Pull any health to spare. So I think I'll end it there. Next episode, we'll just be clearing out trainers, I think. Just because uh, we've got three over this way and a bunch that way. So this will be good training for Guinevere. I don't think either any of these three are really going to get training at the minute. Because they ain't really good enough. They ain't going to add anything to my team. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, if you leave a comment below, I'll use your name in a future uh, a future video for a nickname for a Pokemon. So uh, thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you next time.